Oh, spotted, Seb. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to stop just like this. I don't want to move too much because the gremlins are terrible in this area. Now, it's sitting up in the knobthorn tree that we often see the fish eagle sitting in. And Seb is quite right. It doesn't look like it's preening itself. It looks like it's got something between its feet. What have you caught? A fish? It looks like it has caught a fish. How great is that? Oh no, it's feathers. You see that, Seb? It's actually... It's not a fish. It's something else. I don't know what it is. And what we can try and do is I would like to try and get a little bit closer. Maybe we can get an even closer look. This is very interesting behavior because obviously we always talk about, of course, fish eagles catching fish. And that's their sort of favorite food species. But there's not, and I always talk about how I've seen fish eagles scavenging on carcasses against the river. So here we go. Here's another opportunity. It's caught a bird of some sort. I don't know what bird it's caught, and I don't know when it caught it. It must have just done it as we had our backs turned. It flew over the dam. So it was there the entire time. So it's obviously gone. That is amazing. Let's try again. Let's try. Like, we'll be sneaky and see if we, uh, the gremlins don't get us. But Chantal, do shout. As soon as my signal starts to dip, just let me know, and then I'll, I will hit the brakes. I don't want to get too close to it. I actually want to try and go as quietly as we can so we'll go we'll switch off and we'll try don't make a noise Russ. that is amazing we're going to end up stopping here ideally i want to be on the other side so that the bird is not completely silhouetted it's very difficult to see what bird it is though Now, Alicia, you're wondering if birds, do birds really eat birds? Well, most certainly. There's some raptors that specialize in catching other birds. And, well, we can clearly see now that it's caught a bird of some sort. Those are definitely feathers. So it's plucking its meal, as do the other raptors. They normally always do that. Come on, pull it up so we can see what it is. I hope it wasn't my starling that we were looking at. The, no, I really hope it isn't. Oh, no, I can see them. Whew. <laughs> Safari wild man uh, Here I am sitting saying I hope it's not the starlings And you said I hope it wasn't the plover <laughs> That would actually be a worse off bet Especially because they've got a nest This is amazing I just still haven't quite worked out What bird it is I suppose it doesn't really matter As to what bird it's eating we just know that it's a bird. It's very pretty. It's almost like a dandelion. You know, when you blow on a dandelion and all the little seeds start to disperse. That's what that actually reminded me of. But of course it's not. I want to see if it's going to start to eat it. So there we go. It just shows you how even the birds are opportunistic feeders. It's got a quite a slender beak. It almost looked like it could be maybe a starling or a buffalo weaver. Buffalo weaver, yeah. Let, I think that's a red-billed buffalo weaver that it's caught. I wonder where it caught it, if it snatched it off, off the tree out of the nest or if it was on the ground. That's definitely a red-billed buffalo weaver. Well, there's plenty of them around, so don't feel too bad for this bird. That fish eagle needs to eat as well. And it's amazing. I really, really love seeing this. Because, you know, for the new viewers, sometimes it takes a little bit of convincing when you talk about an African fish eagle, and we always talk about how their diet consists mainly of food, and then you tell these stories of things that you have seen, but sometimes it is hard to wrap your brain around it until you see it for yourself. So there we go. If you did have any doubts about African fish eagles eating other things other than fish, here's evidence right now. This is the first time I've actually seen them eating a bird, though, so this is a brand new experience for me. Now, it's not a particularly big meal for that eagle, you might find that the barbels that they catch out of the dam have a bit more sustenance than that small bird. But that's incredible. Still, still plucking it. We'll have to ask Tristan if, when, when you guys go back to him if he's had any interesting experiences with fish eagles. Alicia, I'm glad that you've just made the comment that you did. You said you're so glad that you still learn things on here. Well, that's how I feel. I feel like... As a guide, it's almost impossible to become stagnant because there's always a plant, an insect, a behavior that you haven't seen before. So that's what's so much fun about it and that's what makes this job so exciting. And I know even though you're not doing it as a job, but I hope you feel 
like you're coming on safari every single day with Tristan and I and and well everybody and James and Steph and Brent and Jamie and Scott Byron and Ali when they're here yeah, he's very very lucky and I have to say a big thanks I feel as though I'm very privileged to be working with some of the best guides in the country it really is amazing never did I think that I'd be sitting where I am today working with some of the big names quite nice it really is a dream come true oh careful for sure you lose your footing and isn't that great how it's able to hold on to that branch as well and as it plucks it doesn't look like it loses its balance at all and I suppose that's where that tail comes in as well it's very important for balance oh my goodness there was a hippopotamus I think it gave Sebastian a fright <laughs> As you saw, he jumped in. Man, look at him. Right here, we'll take a break from the fish eagle quickly. Who, we don't even need to go anywhere for hippos anymore. We can just stay right here. The action has come to us this afternoon. Seb, are you wearing a new deodorant or cologne or something that's not starting to attract the, the animals all of a sudden? Now, it expelled that, that water. It obviously, you got maybe a bit of a fright that we were sitting so close to of course this water's edge well this is very exciting to of course see this fish eagle eating uh, the bird however it seems as though something else is developing at the lions